Hey Aries and welcome to my channel. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aries. Um, this is your bi-weekly love reading. So this will be for December 16th through the 31st. Uh, your, I'll pull one card from the Romance Angels for your overall theme. Then I will pull your regular cards with clarifiers and then an advice card at the end. So Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Aries? What is their overall theme? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. That's a nice card to start your reading. Um, in the States, we are in the holiday season, we know, but this is this isn't just like the holidays, like you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, whatever. This is just getting away from the norm. Get away from society, get away from your family, get away from your friends, just go away for the weekend and enjoy each other. So um, it's not just the holiday holidays but it's just breaking away and spending time together alone just the two of you all right the first row will be you aries second is who you're dealing with third is your outcome so let's see what aries has for the last two weeks in december all right your first card out was the moon in the upright your second card was the seven of swords in reverse and your third card is the Knight of Wands. The person you're dealing with, Aries. Their first card out is Death. Their second card out is the Merlin. For those of you who are wondering this, um, I am using the Celtic Tarot. Um, so the Merlin is uh, the Hermit in most decks. And the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Your guys' overall outcome. The Two of Shields, the Star, and the King of Cups. Your guys' overall um, shared energy is the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, and the Page of Shields in reverse. Your next card out is the Queen of Wands. So you guys are in your are in your element. You guys are um, feeling very confident. Moving forward, um, you guys are, you're coming out of a time of feeling stuck. You guys have felt like you're stuck in the everyday life, the, the everyday motions. You get up, you go to work, you come home, you cook supper, you take a shower, you go to bed. You wake up, you go to work, you come home, you know, just the, the everyday um, responsibilities of life. Uh, some of you are getting out of a situation where you felt you've hung on for far too long. Um, somebody kept you in limbo and you, you weren't moving forward. You were, you were remaining stuck in this situation and you were waiting for an earth sign to reach out to you, but they never did. So you, you're feeling like you're unable to move on. Um, and that's, and that's why you are in the stuck position. You were waiting on it to move forward with an earth sign and or a cancer and they weren't moving forward. So it left you in this stuck position. Uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of fear um, that I'm feeling about this situation. There's a lot of um, hesitancy. There's a lot of lack of movement. Um, you could be a secret to this person or this, this person is a secret um, to you. But because there's a lot of things that were done um, in the dark, that is coming to an end, though. You are putting that to a stop because you're no longer want to have to steal time away from this person. You no longer want to have to hide in the dark with this person, but you're very fearful of letting go of this person. Um, you are going to move forward very quickly very um, passionately towards this person. Um, this is, uh, 
yeah, you're just, you're moving forward. This is something that's very, um, passionate, very sexual. Uh, you, you, uh, yeah, you see how the dragon is in this picture looking up at the moon and they're riding the same dragon in this, um, picture. You feel like this is your person. You feel like this is everything that you want. Um, I also see you doing like a moon ritual, trying to manifest this person back into your life, whether that be like a new moon or a full moon ritual, um, to try to get them to come back. The reason why your person has not moved towards you or any closer you feel, um, they are going through a major life transformation, major. They have the, uh, death and the Merlin back to back. So this person could be purging out jobs. I mean, this person is changing everything about their life, job, relationship, uh, family, where they live. I mean, this person is, is purging out everything that they need to, and they're almost fighting it. Um, I see that the universe is kind of forcing this on them, but, um, right now they're retreated. They are in a time of silence. They have gone within, they have cut off contact with some of you, um, because they need to find their own light. They need to find their own source of motivation. You can't force this person to move towards you quicker. Um, and they're really, um, you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Scorpio here. Uh, but they're really looking within and trying to connect with their inner wisdom and trying to, um, trying to see where and what they want to do from here, because here they're getting rid of everything here. They're trying to figure out, well, what do I want now? Now that I've gotten rid of everything in my life that no longer serves me, what do I want to go after? What do I want to go forth and, and achieve or accomplish or be with? Um, because they no longer want to be uh, putting you in this third party situation. They no longer want to work for something that does not have any um, anything coming back at them. I do see them moving towards you. However, um, and then in these two weeks, I do see this person coming towards you. Um, they are finding balance in their life in this time of separation. The both of you are being called to find balance, to find who you both are in, as individuals. Because now is a perfect time to heal. Now is a perfect time to, um, while you are in separation, to focus on yourself, to bring that balance back into your life and to find healing because this person loves you. This is unconditional love. This is, this is the real deal for this group of you. So, um, there's no need to worry because you guys will be going and spending time together. You guys will be, um, moving on from here together. Why is the moon here? Let's get a couple of clarifiers here. That's more than a couple. It's half my deck. Why is the moon here? Thank you. The devil. So um, you had to, you fear leaving this toxic relationship, or you fear leaving something toxic in the past. Um, this also is, uh, you're, you're fighting addictions. This person could be, um, you could be separated from this person right now because they're getting help for some sort of an addiction they're dealing with. Why is death here? And that's why you guys are separated. Um, I thought one flipped. Oh, I mean, why is death here? The eight of cups. Yeah. See, they're walking away from everything that no longer serves them. And they're moving into a more spiritual um, path. They're moving into their path that they're meant to move into to come towards you. So right now they are purging. They are, they are purging out everything that no longer serves their highest good. And they're walking away from things that um, emotion that they had emotionally invested in, in the past, but they're no longer anymore. Why is Merlin here? The three of pentacles in reverse. 
right next to the three of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, this person is going within because they're trying to figure out where to go from here because they're no longer going to put you in a third party situation. They're trying to narrow it down and to decide what it is that they want. Who do they need to purge out? Um, I want to show you how dark these cards are. You see how dark they are? But your guys' outcome together, look how bright and blue and pretty these are. How healing. They're all three the same color. So they are um, they are working towards coming to you to... They're trying to heal themselves right now while in this time of the Merlin. Yeah, and they're going to pick the fire sign. They're going to pick the king of uh, wands, which is you, Aries. They are um, going to pick you. Why is a star here? Yeah. So they need to heal from an emotional loss. This, the, I asked why the star was here. They need to um, have time to mourn the loss of the, the life they're leaving behind. Because for many of these guys, they're, start, they're ending jobs. They're leaving family members. They're purging out friends. Um, but when they come back towards the end of December, um, the two of you will be able to enjoy some time together. And, um, and move forward from here. But right now, they need this time apart. They need this space to figure out what it is that they want to do. Or this is you, Aries. It can be vice versa. All right. Your guys' uh, advice card is the lady of the gift. Generosity, receiving, and um, withholding. So uh, with this card... I don't remember what this one is. Sorry, I'm going to have to look in the book. Oh, it's saying not to give too much of yourself. Um, giving is is always amazing and, um, and it's needed, but don't give too much of yourself. And most definitely don't give to a person who is not reciprocating the energy or you're going to end up drained. So um, only put your energy into those who are willing to exchange and give an equal amount um, back to you, or you're going to end up just being emotionally exhausted. So that's your guys' advice for the next two weeks. So, all right, Aries, that's all I have for you. I wish you guys love, light, and God bless.